first time I ever shared a song that I had written, I'd written it on guitar and I performed it to my dad and my stepmom and they were like, you're actually okay at this. And that felt pretty good. Uh, thanks dad, thanks Caroline. Hey, my name is Fabio, um, but I'm also known as Noise or Noise London. Most people probably know me for uh, my mixing and mastering tutorials on Instagram. I also have a YouTube channel and I've been in a few duos in the past producing music. So not just from the engineering side of things. Music has been part of my life ever since I was a kid. I didn't think I would ever be an engineer or become one uh, or a content creator for that matter. I was classically trained as a kid, got interested in bands when I was really young, so started one of those and then quickly but weirdly slipped into like the more pop route and ended up doing pop music as a singer songwriter um, and artist for seven years and then about 10 years ago started taking production and engineering seriously, like really seriously, full time, did a deep dive into that. And I just loved the technical aspect of being in front of the computer. By being able to produce and engineer the record, I really felt like I was in control from the beginning until the end. I would say I took my first step into production, probably at the age of 14, where I got this CD inside a serial packet which had its own DAW and it was pretty comprehensive, it had faders, it had loops, and I would create these really simple, you know, sh very short beats. And then I would try and uh, sell them to the rappers of which I think there were probably two, to be honest, in my school. They didn't seem that interested at the time, but I definitely knew that I was enjoying the process of making music. The biggest lesson I learned when I first started was how much there is to learn. When you're entering a passion or a hobby, it can be intimidating. Having said that, I think music production is also getting easier and easier to learn, partly to do with the fact that we have a lot more resources on the internet and partly to do with the fact that the software is becoming far more intuitive. Honestly, the first time I ever shared a song that I had written, I'd written it on guitar and I'd just written the lyrics and I performed it to my dad and my stepmom and they were like, oh, this is, you're actually okay at this. Like you're not, you know, this isn't like a joke to you. And that felt pretty good. And it felt great to perform the record, especially to my parents and they were so supportive. Uh, thanks dad, thanks Caroline. Since then, I mean, I've made a lot of different music and then in 2013, so, you know, 10 years ago when I decided to go full time, the deep house bubble in the UK, especially in London, was like the big thing. And so I was like, I wanna be a deep house producer and DJ. And then as time went on, I lent more into engineering and as of recently, I've come back and I'm making a more melodic style techno. There's a bit of acid in there, there's a bit of house, there's a bit of techno. I'm trying to create my own sound, as I guess as we all are. I find inspiration from being in, in new places. If I'm in one place for too long, I get bored quickly. I need that novelty, I need that dopamine hit of new surroundings, new smells, new weather, new temperature. The biggest thing I've learned over the years, you don't need all of this. I know you see the speakers, all this kit in the back. It's all great, don't get me wrong but don't get carried away with purchasing too much gear. I'm definitely guilty of it. You don't have to purchase kit. You might want to purchase yourself a ticket to somewhere that you love going. Like, the, I don't know, maybe like going to the mountain, the forest, and being in that environment where you can disconnect, give yourself the time and the space to make music is far more important than having the latest bit of gear. Although that can also be inspiring too. So I'm not just canceling that out. Whatever you feel gets you in here, making tunes is the most important thing. One of my approaches was to treat it as if I was studying something and respecting that there are different areas of creating music that are worth studying lightly. Music theory, music production, that can also be divided up into a few things like drums, synthesis, arrangement, and then mixing and mastering which is a really big part of music production now. I think sound design, mixing, mastering, it's something we kind of have to do or have to know enough of in order to get our record to sound as finished as possible prior to sending it out. So there are a few things there. Take your time, enjoy each one of them. And if you really, really don't like one of those things, find someone to collaborate with it on and that should make the process much more enjoyable.